need you a little. Wallingford, would you mind if I moved you a little further? I have to get the stats right, <laughs> which means I need notes. <laughs> oh, good morning, everyone. This is actually a very lovely full house. Thank you all for coming out. Um, I think you all know I'm Secretary Thomas. Um, so I was just explaining to a few people. So the Democracy Cup started over 20 years ago um, to award towns uh, in several categories. Uh, uh, let's see, they have small towns, mid-sized towns, large towns, and city categories. And there was a great donor who decided to invest a good deal of money, actually, to buy these huge cups um, that are literally like three feet tall. They're very ornate. You know, the Super Bowl winner has nothing on the Democracy Cup. Um, and it's quite beautiful. And I heard Wallingford won many years ago. <laughs> um, however, um, those uh, trophies have only been handed out in the even number election years, so state and federal elections. And last year when I took office, uh, we did a big campaign about voting local because turnout is historically so low in local municipal election years. And while I was out awarding the Democracy Cups from the fall 22 election, I thought, how come this doesn't happen in municipal election years? Um, and then I realized I'm Secretary of the State and I could make that happen. <laughs> so we decided that it would be great to uh, trumpet the towns who foster good turnout in the years when most people don't turn out, um, which is why we're here today. But we don't have a donor, so the trophy isn't quite as nice. But the good news is you get to keep it. <laughs> the other trophy gets collected, and I'm sure you know, uh, and taken from one town to the next town. Um, but maybe one day we'll get a trophy and we'll have um, a huge one again. So when I think about what, um, you know, I go around, I talk to people all the time about what makes them vote, why they don't vote, et cetera. And I think high voter turnout boils down to three important things. Excitement about candidates, so people willing to put their name out there, get on the ballot, do that work, knock those doors, make those phone calls. Um, also, excellent election administration. Someone has to send those postcards, uh, keep track of that data, make sure people understand how to exercise their right to vote, make sure they understand um, uh, you know, if they're eligible or not, if they belong to the party or not, all of those details. But the third thing we don't talk about a lot, but when I talk to people in the community, I realize they also have to have hope. They have to feel like they are part of a community and that their vote will actually matter. And that should not be taken for granted because it does not happen everywhere. And there are plenty of towns across Connecticut with turnout under 15%, under 10%. So to win this award is something that you should definitely be proud of because I think all three of those things have to be present. So let's look at some stats. Um, so Wallingford had a turnout of 51.8%. That is huge. The state average is only about 33%. Um, and you just beat out Greenwich that had 51%. So those every vote matters. We know that for many reasons but definitely for the uh, Democracy Cup. And I thought it was interesting. So Wallingford saw nearly a 52% increase over the last municipal election in 2021. So thank you to the people of Wallingford for coming out, casting your ballot. Um, so what I would like to do is present the cup to the mayor and I and then invite you to say a few words and then I know we'll have a few other people say a few words. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's lighter to, to carry. But thank you. Thank and you. what does it say? Let's see. 
The Secretary of the State awards this Municipal Democracy Challenge Cup to Wallingford for its efforts in delivering the highest 2023 voter turnout among large towns. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> Please, the mic is yours. So there is a cup, <laughs> um, which is very nice. It's, it's not hard to find a place to put something this size. So lessons from this election, starting with Greenwich, don't discount what happens after the decimal point. Um, this was an historic election in Wallingford. It was the first time in 40 years that an incumbent was not running for mayor. Um, and apparently that makes a difference to people, a significant difference. But what the acknowledgement really has to go to the people that um, managed the effort and the results and dealt with the high volume turnout and probably lost two nights of sleep over it. So I want to acknowledge our registrars, Joan Parisi and Tom Wolfer, and our town clerk, Kristen Panzo, um, you managed this at, at the end and, and brought the results in for us and uh, saw to it that things were done properly. I think we had a good result in an election audit. So thank you all and congratulations to you all. And I understand Joan has some comments for us. Thank you. Jerry Thomas, Tom and I were pleasantly surprised to hear, hear of this amazing award. We want to thank our staff, volunteers, and various town departments who assist us in preparing for election day. A special thank you to our dedicated poll workers who make sure our polls are run professionally and courteously. Most importantly, a huge thank to you, the voters of Wallingford. Tom and I are so proud to be registrars in a town where we take uh, the privilege of voting to heart and make their voice heard. Again, we are honored to be recipients of this Democracy Cup. As poll workers, uh, I've also been traveling the state for the past year honoring poll workers in many towns across Connecticut, which has been gratifying and reaffirming. Um, without them, nothing happens. And we definitely need more of them for early voting. Um, Representative Fishbein, would you like to say a few words? Yes, please do. I know Representative Mushinsky was trying to make it. If she doesn't arrive before we end, please know her thoughts are with you. Um, with that, I will close it out, but I am hanging around for a little bit if anyone has questions. Or does the press have any questions? Um, yeah, sure, uh, so, as soon as I consult my notes. <laughs> Sure, let me um, just remember who's in which category. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, so I assume, okay, I assume Canaan, small town, right? Yep. Um, so coming up today, we have Canaan as our small town winner and Danbury as our city winner. And we had a little hiccup with our medium-sized town, so stand by. <laughs> um, yeah, any other questions? Any other sound bites? Um, I know our team would love a photo with uh, representative mayor, election team. <laughs> 